Hi, it's Sandra with Bruce City Thrifts, and I am here today at the Goodwill on Miller Parkway. That is near what used to be called Miller Stadium, where the Brewers play. It's a Tuesday evening. I'm not usually very lucky on a Tuesday evening, but who knows? You're invited to come along and see what we can find. So let's hit it. So I'm going to try this recording with a little bit of the background noise from being in the Goodwill and hopefully I'm managing the noise so it's not too overwhelming. Here I am walking in and noticing right off the bat these little plates with violets on them. They are not hand painted violets. I'm very partial to hand painted violets on china and porcelain that those are some sort of transfer wear so i take a look and move on i'm wondering how many of you like to shop with people or if, how many of you prefer to shop alone and when i go to a goodwill after work i usually don't have more than two hours to do my shopping and i like to go alone because i really am very slow i like to look at everything here i'm picking up uh, some franciscan um, I think it said uh, the apple, the Franciscan apple uh, pattern, and these plates I know are vintage. Uh, Francisca is a very popular pattern, but there's a chip on that plate and also a chip on the second plate, so I do not take them with me. And then I notice up here, I thought this might be a kind of a cool modern sphere, but it was very lightweight. Here in the plates aisle, I first notice a little, it's actually a bowl, not a plate, and it's hand painted, but it is contemporary and it has a chip. And this little bowl has a really nice graphic. It kind of has a vintage look to it, but it's a contemporary piece. Here is a hand painted plate. And behind it, I saw this larger, what seemed to be a hand painted plate. It has a kind of Chinese style to it, and I don't recognize the maker, but I was reading on the back, it said things like, not for food use, not for this, not for that, and I kind of avoid plates that you can't really use as plates, because <laughs> that just seems wrong. You should be able to use a plate as a plate for food. So, um, moving on, I see these pretty plates, these are Mikasa, which I think makes a lot of lovely items. And here is a pair of really pretty snack sets. These are vintage amber glass. It's most likely Indiana glass. You've got the teacup and a little snack plate. And perhaps I should have taken these with me, but I typically would look for a style where there's a depression for the teacup. I might have mentioned before that I don't feel really confident about knowing glassware. So looking back at this video, I'm thinking I missed some opportunities here. I'd love to hear what you think. Here I noticed these, the set of uh, little cordial glasses with the gold rims that had a pattern etched into the gold. Maybe weren't very old, but they were really very pretty. And down here, this cranberry glass with the clear stem. These, I think, can be um, desirable. And I had a set of four that I could have picked up, but didn't. And then moving on to the next shelf of glasses, I did notice down in the bottom, there's some hand-blown margarita glass glasses and um, I do sometimes pick those up that particular style I decided that I didn't need but then I saw these interesting tumblers they have a, a silver ombre kind of effect with some etching on the outside kind of like a Dorothy Thorpe look but I think these are definitely more modern they're very pretty and I think they might have been something that I should have taken another look at at the time but I did leave those behind and now I'm thinking hmm that might have been a big mistake what do you guys think 
I noticed this vintage wooden, it looks like a shelf. It's a handmade, hand painted wooden shelf by E. Coonan and very pretty. Um, but I am not sure that shelf has such a unique shape. I feel like it was made for something particular, but I don't know what it was made to hold. I did end up putting it back and just curious if you know what it was made for. Continuing on in a clear glass aisle, I noticed this hand painted plate, this stoneware, and I noticed these parfait or ice cream cups. Also that textured glass that kind of had a Scandinavian look to me, but there was a hole in the side of that glass that kind of puzzled me. And then I saw these colorful glass bowls, but the flashing is scratched on those. Scanning for things that jump out at me, uh, strike me as unusual. This little clock teapot is a world market piece. So probably relatively contemporary. This was a pretty little hand painted piece, but again, looks to be more contemporary. And then this piece of avocado green glass looks like it had some age with a basket weave on the sides, but I wasn't that excited about it. Hand painted bowl, most likely from Japan, could have been vintage. Those were garlic graters, ceramic garlic graters in there, in that bag. And then I spy this piece of what appears to be hand-blown recycled green glass. It's got that recycled glass look. I really kind of like it. I like the square shape with the kind of stretch at the top and the chunkiness of it and I love the color so I take that piece with me. I ran across what appears to be the donation of someone's teapot collection, little mini teapots. Um, there's two of them there and then I see this pretty little, uh, this is a vintage teacup and saucer. I do love it. It's beautiful, but I have too many of these in my own inventory, so I leave that for someone else. Then I see this other, another one of these little mini teapots with the cup uh, that is part of the set. and. This one I thought was a little more interesting, a little more unusual, that had a very heavy, uh, it was very heavy, it had a very um, interesting glaze on the sides as you can see. And, and then uh, this hummingbird teapot was also quite cute with the matching teacup, but none of them were things that I felt I needed to take with me. I'm still roaming around in the kitchen area, checking out that bottle. And then I see these wooden salad bowls and they could be teak. I like the design and teak salad sets are a good pickup, especially if you can find Danish teak. And this teapot is Canadian pottery. It is not so collectible and it is quite worn. So I move on quickly from that. And here I finally find something Vintage and interesting. These are uh, glass refrigerator boxes. They're lidded. I think they are typically made by Westinghouse or um, Federal Glass, and um, they're definitely old. You can, uh, the prices that you can get for them range a bit on eBay, but that one has an embossed lid. The other two have the horizontal lids, and it's possible I could make about 10 to 15 on each of the smaller um, boxes and 15 to 20 on the medium-sized ones. So I decide I am going to 
take those with me. In the tchotchke aisle, I first notice this mask. It looks like it could have been a, a you know a project piece, um, and then above it is this what appears to be a vintage ceramic duck planter. It's definitely got some age and I give it a look, but honestly, it's not that exciting. I put it back. And then I noticed this duck and this is a Tanala style Mexican duck. It's, uh, it's nicely painted. I'm looking it over, but I, I'm not sure as I'm feeling the bill. I'm not sure if I'm feeling a chip or not. It could just be a little roughness from production or it could be a chip. So I look really hard at it and I decide eventually that I don't think I'm going to take it. Still among the tchotchkes, I notice this brass goblet or uh, compote perhaps. I'm not sure candy dish. It's actually lighter weight than you would expect for being all metal and not that great, not the greatest quality, so I move on. I am not one for picking up figurines very frequently. Sometimes I do, but they have to be really eye-catching for me. This, that little uh, tidbit tray um, was really cute, but you might have noticed it had a huge crack in it. I notice on the lower shelf that large silver urn or pitcher. Um, I pulled it out and it was actually quite lightweight. This is a very pretty piece of colored glass, but very contemporary, not that special. And a 3D Halloween little ceramic vignette. It's just fun. Oh, I had picked up on the tchotchke um, shelves this brass candle ring. I just thought the workmanship on the different item, elements of this brass piece were actually quite nice. It's a lot of different hearts and some ribbons and some flowers. And I just, I liked it. So that is coming with me. I do like the vase aisle and I am often lucky in the vase aisle, but today I'm not seeing anything that's wowing me from the get-go. These uh, ceramic vases are actually relatively, um, you know, inexpensively made. Um, I was reaching for this, um, this optic or geometric green glass that looks to have some age there. It was really filthy, but um, it wasn't anything that was too exciting for me. This pink ceramic vase has obviously a very 80s design to it. I'm thinking possibly Hager, but it does have a little chip there. It was not marked on the bottom. On the other shelves, and look how many clear glass vases there are, just a thousand. On the other shelves, I see this um, mug first, that giant mug, and then I notice on a lower shelf another ceramic vase that I thought had an 80s look, kind of a southwestern look, but again, a big chip on it, so I left it behind. And this planter looked to have some age, and with the foot on the bottom there, I thought it might be something that would be worth picking up, but then there was some damage and a repair on the side. So I do like that bamboo design, but I left that behind. Um, these I was wondering if these were witches' balls or ornaments, but they are uh, don't have any way to hang them so I left those behind too. 
So here's what I ended up with at the end of my shopping trip. I have those glass refrigerator boxes. They're vintage. And I have one is embossed, and the other two have horizontal stripes on the top. Then this brass candle ring with the hearts. I picked up a candle for myself. It has a chip on the ceramic on the top, but that's okay. It's for me. And then finally, this piece of what I think is recycled glass. It's really got a beautiful color, and I just thought it was pretty. So that is what I decided to take with me. Okay, so, well, not too many finds tonight, but it is a Tuesday night. I don't usually go out on Tuesday nights, but it happens to be the only night I can this week. We're on the eve of a big, apparently a big blizzard snowstorm coming through here in Milwaukee, so I had to get out while I can. Anyway, those refrigerator boxes were probably the best find that I had to n today, even though they're not particularly um, high ticket items. They are vintage and they are interesting and I'm glad that I found them. I also liked that copper candle wreath. It had a better quality and more detail and just a better design than one might have uh, thought and I think it could have been easy to overlook, but I, I really liked it. So those are my finds. Hope you had a good time coming along with me. We will keep trying other places in the Milwaukee area if you keep coming back. So like my channel, comment, let me know what I missed, let me know what I should be keeping my eyes open for, and thrift on siblings, we will do this again.